Welcome to my channel, Planning with Maserati. I am going to be doing a large Amazon haul. So before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So this one video is going to end up being one, two, four videos. So let's go ahead and start. We're going to start off with... Um, the smaller stuff and then I'll get into bigger stuff there's technically only one two three four five six items but it was a decent price okay and I'm not bragging or anything I'm just getting set up for the new year so let's go ahead and start I did go ahead as you can see there's an item and pick up a pocket little packet Go ahead and open it. I have not seen it. As you can see, it's still taped. Let me grab this and undo. I don't think I need to do all of it. Let me move this because I don't want to get, you know, flagged or anything. You never know. So we have plastic that won't open. Okay, so what is this? I don't know if you could see it, but it's an A7. Notebook or note, yeah, notebooking. Then it has A5 binders, planners, or A6. I'm sorry, binders, planners. It says A7, and then it has like an A5 binder, planner, notebook. I'm gonna be honest with you, this is not the size of a pocket. It's a little, oh, what did I just break? Give me one second. Okay, so I don't think I broke anything. I think I just, like, you know how, like, bags pop? Could be that. So you can see where they didn't hole punch this, but clearly... I mean, it's hole punch, but not completely. So these are the dividers. And you can see all of them are not really truly hole punched. You get... Where does this go? I can't tell. It, it should be the pink one first. So it actually goes this way. So one, two, three, four, five dividers. You get a pocket envelope, which is not hole punched. I mean, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know, just in case you pick it up and you're like, well, Maserati said it was hole punched. So another one. So you get two of these, which is nice. Little pockets. You get the little ruler. It's a little bent, but again, everything will go like fine once you put it in. You get the notebook paper, which I do like. It's dotted line. And then you get that one line that's like, where it's regular, or well, two lines. So either way, I think you could work it either way. And then you have another one. So you get two of these. And then three. One, two. Yeah, you get three of them. So it's just no, like notebook paper. And with this, I'm going to either do dailies, to-dos. Like, I'll have each section with something. And then I have the two pockets, and then I have the dividers. The dividers don't feel cheap. It feels like just like regular cardstock, but not like a cheap. But again, I'll have to hole punch it. So there's that. I like that. Put this one here. The next item is a file effects. I think you're getting the idea of what <laughs> I have. So this is the Final Effects Weekly on two pages. It does say 2024, so I will be using it for October 2024, but the rest of the months will go from October to uh, December. I will be using it. Or I could start now and then just end it at the week that I'm not using it. Um, so like September, what's today? The 18th. So the 18th, well, the 19th starting tomorrow on till you know december 31st and then start january through september 17th okay so this is 80 gsm paper white black and blue print um 64 sheets so i don't know how long is that is it a year because it doesn't say a year but it does start in january so it could be a year I'm assuming. Okay. 
So it's a week on two pages, and they call it a diary. This is just going to be a simple little week on two. I just needed a weekly, okay? Especially if I'm taking this out on appointments, I want to have, you know, a place where I can pull out something and be like, oh, that's the day of my appointment. Can we reschedule yours or something like that? Next item is one day on a page. This is pocket, by the way. So let me show you this really quick. And what I mean by this is not the same size. Not that it's a big deal because it still has the same amount of holes and the holes still line up. So you can see the holes still line up, but you can see the size is not accurate. So this is going to have an overhang on bottom and top. Hopefully not, but from what I see, it's going to have an overhang. So this is the weekly. Now I picked a daily. So this is like two sets here. But I guess it's because of the full year. And then it's a one day on a page. Appointment times, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. So you got 8 to 8. Dude, look at how small this is. Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is like very tiny. Saturday and Sunday combined on a page. And fountain pen friendly. Is this one fountain pen friendly? Yes. So these are two saying they're fountain uh, pen friendlies. I guess they're listening to the consumer. Because a lot of people use fountain pens. Which I just found my Dollar Tree fountain pen. So I will be testing that out in a later video. And maybe because it's the same size as this. And that would work nice if I could use a fountain pen. And um, and they're from Dollar Tree, by the way. So this is 168 sheets, 2024. Again, I will start it in the 19th for September and then just continue on redating. And basically all you have to do, because it's got the year, you're just going to wipe that year out and wipe the number out. Keep the date, but wipe the number out. Uh, white 80 GSM, black and blue, 81 millimeters by 120 millimeters. So that is the size of this, and it is a file fax. So it looks basically like this. But what I want to do is add a page in between. So this is what, what I was thinking, is having one of these as a page in between. So I may have to, because this lines up on the bottom perfectly. So I may just have to, or if you, yeah, so it lines up on the bottom perfectly. It's just the top is an overhang as I'm looking at it. Or the bottom has a little overhang, but the top is more. And what I'm thinking is add a page to every week. So like here I add a page, the back side could be for this side. So it's just one page in between here is what I'm thinking. So let me know your thoughts on that. But those are a few of the items I picked up. I do have two more coming. They didn't ship the whole haul. That's why it doesn't. It's not gonna look like a lot. But there is two more items coming. So yeah, I like these. I had file effects before in the um the pocket and I think the personal. Yeah, the pocket and the personal. And I don't know. I'm just going back to the rings. I like ring bound planners. I like notebooks because it's like different kind of planning. Next item is, you know, I'm into my junior size, half letter size. Let me just move these out the way. I'm into my like junior size, half letter size um, notebooks. So that is what I picked here. And it comes with a lot of goodies. Maybe not a lot of goodies, but it comes with some stuff. And I like how they put them in this plastic. Hopefully I can get it out. Because I don't know how they get it in here. To be honest with you. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. That was a little struggle because this is about to come off. Okay, I'll have to fix that. I fixed another one. Okay, there we go. So this here is... They call it junior size. Wrinkle... Junior size refill, I'm assuming pages, or, yeah, and journal, weekly planner. So this is a weekly planner. So my thoughts on this one is my scripture writing and devotional plans. 
I like having everything in one book. And this will be good to have everything in just one book. So it does come very little of the little sticky page flags. And then you have the Today, which is nice. I love it. More dividers. Is this the same company? Because it looks like it's like the same colors. So more dividers for it. And it's hole punched. It's not the same as a Happy Planner hole punch. And they're not technically even, but we're going to go go with it. And you get six. Nope, five. I don't know where I thought I've seen six. Then you get the pocket. Look at how they hole punch this. I hope this works because this looks a little on the weird side. And then the pocket is, I don't know, does it look... This looks weird. I'm not trying to be that person that's like, nope, don't like it. I'm trying to like it. It just feels... I don't... It just looks weird. Like, the pattern looks weird. But it could be fine. You know what? We should test this out. Okay, let me grab something. I just feel like that pocket is not gonna work. So this is my Bible study devotionals, um, more like inductive studies and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and just test this out so you can see how I did this. It does work. So that is good. So it does work. I just don't know how well it will stay in once it keeps growing because of how wide they have these. It should not be this wide. It should be pretty much like how, let me see if I have something, like this divider here. Okay, so let me show you this divider. Why do I have two dividers here? But do you see how the holes are here? And this is not the Happy Planner. And see how skinny these are compared to this? So I don't know about this one, but, I mean, it's working for now. And it looks like I have an extra spot for something, because I have an extra divider in here. Which is on the same holes. Okay, so let me just put this down for a second. And continue on. Don't fall. Okay. So we have that. And then we have weeklies. Um decoration well I ordered it like this so I can't complain so it looks like they have it as a Wednesday start oh no they have it as a Sunday start so what I'm going to do because they have it as a Sunday start and then it would be like this so that's how it would exactly look look at how these look is it just me or am I just complaining like look at it's even bent in here it's not even, like, equal. It's not even lined up or anything. But I don't want to complain. Okay. So, this is, like, your notes section. Like, you're this week. You have a Sunday. Monday, Tuesday. I like the deco. I did order it like that. So, that is... Let me try to see if I can get it to focus. Put this in. Focus. Okay. Take this out. There you go. Okay. It's because it's white. Okay, so, like, you have the deco. I ordered it like that. That's fine. Um, I just wish it would have started on a Monday. So that's the only thing I will be waiting out. It's undated, so that's not a problem. But that's what your week on two will look like. They already decoed it for you. Sorry, my phone just did some weird thing. But, not my phone, my camera. So, on top it says AIDS. And then here it says AIDS references chosen are descriptive, not diagnostic. And then prevented infection spread, numbers, relevant statements, Deuteronomy, and then it gives you verses, sins of youth, job, or Job. I keep saying job. And then it goes on. Air conditioning. Like anything you're looking up is in this book. How cool is this? I love the graphics. Like, isn't this the cutest? Have a nice day. It's like cartoonish, but yet 
you're still going to learn something from it. And if you can find something, this is like your, you know, your dictionary, I would say, and you're going to look it up or encyclopedia, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I, obesity, like eating a fat prohibited, very fat man, <laughs> old, obese, fat, strong, fat and rich. Wow, that's kind of <laughs> weird. But this is what this book is. It's a lot of information that you will learn your scriptures from. And then in the back you have, let's see what else. Because we're still in the same thing. Ah, is there anything else? That might be it. Fourth. Okay. You have like no pages. And then, yeah. It says the end. So that's what you get in here. And if you can't find it in the Bible, if you know where to look, where to find it in the Bible, um, this A to Z list, listing of topics puts key scriptures at your fingertips, where to find it in the Bible, a valuable resource for Bible readers. The lady was, it looks smaller. It says USD $12.99, but that's not what I paid I do like it. It's a really good resource. Okay, so next one. And the the lady I was watching. I have to find the name who I was watching. I think it's um Abide in Me. But I could be wrong. And um I could be wrong. I think it's another lady I watch. Last but not least, for this haul, because there's gonna be two more items coming on Friday. You you ready for it? You ready for it? A pocket planner. And I picked the garden. Why? Because I got the garden bag. Where did I get this from? I think TikTok sent me this. And they um, sent it through... No. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. This could be from Amazon. And I just thought this and this together would be so cute. I mean, yeah, it's not the same pattern, but it's pretty much the same colors. And so I thought this would fit perfectly in here. I don't have to carry so much. So this is going to be set up. It already is pretty much set up. So we're going to just go flipping through it. I'm going to leave the, this on here because I kind of like, I always leave these on in the beginning. But I may or maybe not. I may just use it for something else. So what does this come with? So this is a file effects organizer. And it's the pocket and daily, dated planner. Okay, so let's just take it out. I'll put it back later when I reset this up. Okay. So then you have four little slots here. You have a pocket behind here. It does say file effects pocket organizer. This again was on sale. This is the time to order your file effects. Your, um, what is it when it starts with Moskine? If this is the time to, to grab it, like don't hesitate. Go on Amazon and grab it before it's gone. So this one has... Let me see if I can just pull this off. Probably not. I should have just left this out. Okay. And now I have other uh, pocket size. But this one just caught my eye when I seen it. Because I was like, this matches that bag so well. So you have the file effects garden, it's called. This is the number. Dusk Pocket Organizer. I don't think that's how you spell organizer. They have S-E-R when it's Z-E-R. See? And then you have the flyleaf. This could come off. This organizer belongs to. So you have your name page. And again, another one. Keep in mind, this is a 2024. And... This has the 2025 calendar. 
So even if you don't use this page because you have this page after 2024, you still have the 2025 calendar. And again, it has to like manipulate itself to lay flat. Eventually it will, once it's chunky. I think there might be a gap. No. Oh, there's a little tiny gap. And that could be why it's doing that. So this has big plans. I don't know if you could see it, but it's dot grid. For each month, there's like a section of dot grid. So I like that. To do special dates, goals, and notes. You get into January. It says hello January. And it is dot grid. I don't think everything is dot grid though. Because this is not. You get extra dot grid pages. Which I love that. This is not a monthly. Is it? Is this just a... Did I miss a month or something? Because I feel like I'm going straight to the week. Yeah, so I'm going straight to the week. And then the month is down here. Which, I don't like that. I need a monthly now. Because that's what I was hoping for. So I could see my appointments. But I could always make one with an extra sheet, you know. You could draw it out. So this is the weeks. It's a week on two pages. So you start on Monday and it has different, like, Luna, Loon, Mun, you know, stuff like that. It has the holidays. So this is 2024. And then you get into February, which everyone has this page. So it's like how the Happy Planner does. This is nice. I like it. So let's see what else we get. Okay, so here you have, again, the same. When I'm trying to get past this section. Okay, so here's December 2024. You have a few of January 2025. And then it gets into the dot grid. I'm messing this up because it's got, like, gaps in here. But it's on clearance. You can't really complain. And then you get a few, you get a few dot, you get a couple line, not a couple, but like maybe five, six, I'm thinking. Maybe a little bit more than six. So you get a couple of these. And then you get your dividers. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, and they're all white. And this is like, almost like laminated. It's cardstock, but it's laminated on top. And then you get to-dos with notes on the bottom. I love that. You get quite a bit of these, I think. Yeah, you get a lot of these. All of this. You got plain. I remember File Packs gives a lot of, like, little extras. So you get, like, that much plain. You have the holidays. I kind of want this in the beginning so that when I'm looking at the holidays, I could see it. But it has this in the back. So it says you get the calendar, the yearly planner, monthly overview, and then a weekly planner. It's not saying how much you get of each. But it's not even telling you about the, the extras that they give. You get a nice little ruler. And then you get your pocket, which is top loading. And then in the back you have a pocket here and a... Is this a pocket as well? No. So just... Or you could put a notepad or something. But that and then you have oh the pen loop. Let's not forget the pen loop. But that is everything. Yeah, there's a gap on here. But look at how cute. And then just to take this little guy on the go and then just throw it in your bag. Like this. And you're good to go. Was this Menard? No, this isn't Menards. It was a different bag. I can't remember. It was Vacuum sealed. I don't even remember if I showed you this, but yeah. But look at how cute that looks together. Oh, that's so gorgeous. So that is my haul. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now I gotta go edit because... <laughs> yeah, so thank you. And I will talk to you in the next video. 
let me know what um if you go get you anything from there. I will be setting up the organizer in the next couple days. Or actually probably tomorrow so I can start using it tomorrow. And then setting up the junior. And then of course my where to find it in the Bible. When you do studies, it's easier this way. Find a title that or a topic you like and then you can actually follow through. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up and I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.